Welcome to Agoracom, the small cap epicenter of Agoracom TV, a daily fast-paced, edgy show bringing the best press release out of the small cap space every morning at the open so you hopefully profit from them and maybe find your next great small cap investment. It's Tuesday, July the 20th. I've got two press releases for you. The resources space is dominating. First up, China Energy Corp. I love this press release. Trades on the OTC under CHGY. They put out their financial results for the second quarter. We are at earnings seasons and we're expecting a lot of results out of Chinese companies. So make sure you're watching this every day because it's gems like this I think you're going to discover. This is a, this is a, a coal trader and a processor of raw coal for domestic heating and electric generation and cooking purposes in China. Uh, this for May 31st, 2010. Look at these highlights. Revenue up 377% to $20.5 million. Net income, $4.4 million or 10 cents per share. And on top of that, the company is reaffirming full year guidance, anticipating net income of $17 million to $18 million. Why is that important? If you extrapolate out this earnings, uh, this earnings on, uh, on the low side, you're talking about 40 cents per share. The company closed yesterday at $1.86. So right now, based on guidance, you've got a company trading at just four and a half times earnings and really strong balance sheet, cash and cash equivalents, $10.1 million. That's a double of $5.1 million in November. For the first half of the year, the company generated $4.8 million in cash from their operations. That's compared to uh, cash used of eight of $9.4 million last year. So you're talking about almost a $14 million turnaround. Great number. Closed yesterday at $1.86. 52-week high, $4.12. 52-week low, $0.50. Cents. So it looks like it's been really volatile. Do some due diligence. Make sure there are any one-time negative effects out there that we don't know about because there may be more to the story. But on its face, great press release, great numbers. I may be buying that stock. Next up, New Gold trades on the TSX and the Amex under the stock, a stock symbol NGD. They announced that they increased uh, the gold production by 62% in the second quarter. And what I like about this, folks, it's a preliminary number. If you've been watching Gorecom TV for a while, you know we love preliminary numbers because that means the company is happy about the results. They want to get them out there before they put out their actual statements, but they want to get the mess out to the market. Here are the highlights. Uh, this is uh, this is performance based on the company's three operating assets. Second quarter gold sales, 82,400 ounces at a total cash cost of $490 per ounce. So you're talking realistically about $600 an ounce in profit there. Multiply that by 82,500. Big number. Uh, they do say that this may differ slightly from the actual second quarter uh, earnings results, so keep an eye out for that. But you got to think they're pretty close and they're pretty excited to put up this number. Gold production was also up 62% to 89,900. Let's call that 90,000 ounces. That's up from 55,500 ounces for the same period last year. Cash balance increased by $32 million to $376 million. A little bit about the company. They call themselves an intermediate gold mining company with a mesquite mine in the United States, the Chero San Pedro mine in Mexico, and Peak Gold Mines Australia. They're expected to produce between 330 and 360,000 ounces of gold this year in 2010, growing to over 400,000 ounces in 2012. So if you're bullish on gold, then this is a company you want to take a look at because they're going to be producing and generate significant amounts of cash and revenue and bottom line. Closed yesterday, 501, uh, 52 week high, 697, 52 week low, 293. That's a wrap. As always, quality over quantity. I love today's press releases. Numbers talk, and both these companies have great numbers. So hopefully you've discovered your gems. Go do some due diligence. Otherwise, if you look for more great small cap uh, resource companies and you watch this on Globe Investor, either look below me or to the left, you'll see the most recent headlines over the past few days, some webcasts and other leads you need in order to find your next great investment. If you're on Agoracom, watch the show on a daily basis. Get through our syndication partners if you can't. Uh, take a look at the directory and the front page headlines where we've got the best press releases coming out of our sponsors over the past few days. That's a wrap. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.